In today's video, we are going to be creating a door opening transition inside HitFilm Express. To get started, you will need two clips. I got these clips from an online source, so I'll put the link in the description if you want to use the same footage. There's an opening door opening scene and the door closing scene. We just want the door opening scene. And then there is this other clip that I will use as the background for this transition. All right, so let me just close out of the trimmer window drag in the background footage, put it in the video track one and drag in the door opening scene and put it on top of that clip. I'm just going to zoom into the timeline and I want to get rid of the door closing scene. I don't want that. So I'm just going to trim it down like that and I'm going to match the length of these two clips. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on this eye icon on video one and it will disable it. Uh, so we are just going to focus on the video track two. Now, if we check this clip out, you're gonna notice that everything is fine with this clip, except this right side of this clip or right side of this door. We don't want this right side of the door as it will become difficult masking it out. We can mask it out easily, but it will not look real. So in order to make this process more easier, we can go to controls and increase the scale amount of our clip. So I'm going to increase that to 130. And now I can just move the position of this clip till we just get rid of the right side of this footage. All right, so once you are done with that, then we can start masking our footage. So now I'm going to move my playhead to the position where I see what's uh, behind this door. So maybe around this frame, I can see the background or whatever is behind this door. And now I'm going to mask this clip out. So select the freehand mask tool and just zoom into clip. I'm using the scroll wheel to zoom in. I just click to create a point and zoom out. And you can use the left mouse button to pan around your clip. I'm going to create another point and just close my path like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this invert mask icon, click on that and it will reveal your door. Okay. So once you create your path, then just make sure that it go inside the mask, go inside the transform and you have the path over here. We're going to create a keyframe on it. So click on this circle icon to create a keyframe. And now we'll just move forward in time and just move the points. I'm going to make sure that we keep it as close to this door as possible. So let's just do that. And I'm just going to move this point, make sure that it stays with the edge of this door like so. And let's go to the end and close this like so. All right. So if we take a look at it, this is how it is going to look. And if at any point you feel like your mask is imperfect, you can make changes to it at any time like that. And over here as well, I can just make the changes to it and maybe over here, just try to make it as perfect as possible. That's pretty much it. Then you can enable your video one track, click on the eye icon to enable it. And there you have your door opening transition. Now at the very first frame, you're going to notice that our clip is kind of already visible in this part over here at the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this icon that will display your timeline. Click on that. And now you can just see your keyframes, all the path keyframes over here. Uh, so just double click on the very first keyframe and I'm going to move back a little bit and change the position of the path. So again, with the freehand mask tool, you can just change its position and just make sure that it is away from the scene. So it, you have to just play around with the positioning of the mask and you will eventually get the desired result. Now let's exit all of this timeline view, go inside the shape of your mask and you can see the feather strength over here and just feather it up around 10 pixels and see how that looks. Feathering will really help you blend these two footages together. All right, so that looks pretty neat. Now to further sell this effect, uh, search for glow effect and apply it onto your background footage. 
uh, increase the intensity and increase the radius as well and uh, we're going to keyframe the intensity so i'm going to go to this frame over here create a keyframe on intensity and move forward a few frames and reduce the intensity back to zero so if we take a look at this we have this nice glowing animation in our background footage and it really sells the effect of the door transition uh, so that is pretty much it for this video guys i hope you learned something new if you want to see more of these transition tutorials related to video editing then make sure you like the video uh, thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one